What up, guys? Uh, it is. I don't even know what day it is. Thursday. It's Thursday. Uh, about to hit a push push workout, so um, I'll take you guys through it. I am nine days out, I think. Uh, if you just saw that weigh-in, it said 180. That was with the camera. I think I was I was just under one. I was 178 in like 0.9 or something. Um, I found out that that scale is a little bit heavy. Um, when I weighed myself in my friend's place, who has an electronic scale, I weighed uh, 176. So I think somewhere around there, 176, 177, something like that. Since, considering I started out at 185 for this prep, um, I've lost nine pounds, eight, nine pounds. Um, I didn't have a lot to lose, so, you know, looking pretty good, no lighting at all over here. But um, I'll take you guys through this push day, um, and I'm gonna do some posing afterwards, and see how it goes, see you in a little. All right, what up guys? Camp Easy, hopping on a commentary here for you over this push workout. So this was the workout I did on Thursday. Um, I believe it was like the 18th maybe of July, something like that. Uh, nine days out from my competition at USA Nationals. And um, felt pretty good. Like I said, I had to take the day off before. Uh, I've been doing double days every day and just to try and get my, my body fat down to where I want it to be. And uh, I'm feeling very... I'm feeling very close. So right now, as of right now, it's Sunday. I'm doing this commentary, and um, so I'm seven days out, not even six days out, and uh, starting to get dialed in. The details are coming out. I'm uh, feeling a little bit better. Uh, I've been very beat up this prep. Being sick for two weeks was rough and everything. So um, now I'm just starting to feel better. Today on this push day, I was doing. I started off with bench, and I was just doing sets of 225. I think I did four sets of seven to nine reps, something like that. Um, st staying away from failure at this point, um, just because of my energy levels and everything, but keeping my rest really low. So uh, I think I was taking a minute rest in between these sets. So, um, I mean, yeah, my strength is still kind of there. I mean, at my peak, I think I could hit 225, maybe like 12 or 13 times. And I think I could have got like 10 or 11 today, probably on my first set. So, um, I didn't lose too much strength during this prep, and um, one thing that I changed uh, in November when I did the Ferrigno show, I actually really was backing off a lot on my weights just so I could do more supersets um, to try and lose like extra body fat and stuff like that. And I think what end ended up happening is I ended up losing a lot more muscle that way. And so the one thing I really wanted to do going into this show is keep as much of, of my muscle as possible um, because, like I said. After the Fregno show, which was in November, uh, I was 168, I believe, and um, I got up to about 186 pounds uh, from let's see, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So in about six months, I gained like almost 20 pounds, uh, which honestly I probably won't do again. I'm happy now with how, uh, how much muscle I have, and so now from here on out, I'll just be doing lean muscle gains. Um, which just works better for me. I don't like being full. I don't like gaining fat on purpose. Um, it's just a, since I don't track really my macros and I don't track my calories, it's, it's a lot more of a guessing game for me and um, it, it's a lot harder to bulk and cut. So um, I'm just gonna stick to what I did originally, which was just staying lean all the time. And um, I mean, that's how I, that's, that's what I'm used to. That's how I was my whole life. Um, I've always been 7-8% body fat and uh, it just feels right for me so um, I'm just going to stick with that and just do things my own way. So anyway, after the bench press I went to upright shoulder press I felt or seated shoulder press. I felt really good on those. I think I was doing 80s. Uh, I did a set of 60s, bumped it up to 80s, did a set of like 8 to 10, something like that. Everything for this whole workout I was staying within the mm, probably 8 to 12, 8 to 15 rep range but like I said keeping my I'm wearing a watch there I don't know if you can see it but um, I was literally right after my set clicking my watch and waiting a minute and doing another set so um, I did some flat or some incline uh, dumbbell press and then the other thing that I do during my prep like my last month of prep is I just start doing abs in between everything so I might not be doing a superset with weights but I'm basically doing superset with abs so right after I did that dumbbell incline press just walk straight over to these and do some uh, decline abs and just really squeezing on my abs. And then I, my obliques have always been a weakness of mine. 
So I'm incorporating a lot more oblique training, um, which is basically any twisting or side crunching movements. So um, killing two birds with one stone right there. From there I went to a badass sh uh, shoulder superset, uh, one of my favorites. Um, my shoulders seem to benefit really well from high reps. So I do like 10 to 15 for these shoulder movements after my pressing. So I did lateral raises, side lateral raises, and I think I did about maybe 15 of these, just using the 20 pound dumbbells. I, I really like to control my shoulder weights more than throwing stuff around. Um, when I get that deep burn in my shoulders, then I, I know that I'm, uh, I'm doing it right. So from there, I went to the rear delts, which is a weakness for a lot of people. So I'm always making sure I'm hitting my rear delts. One thing I've been doing lately is sometimes I'll do a couple reps where I don't go all the way to the bottom. I just keep the tension on my rear delt. It makes it a lot harder, um, but it's very effective. And so after the rear delts, I went to, and this is just one thing to the other to the other. I wanted to show you this whole clip because this is a lot. This is how my training is a lot of the time. And I don't really get to show you guys because I try to keep the videos a little bit shorter. But a lot of the stuff that I do is I just go from one set to the other set to the other set. And I just keep it. Just keep the pump. Like, it's amazing. And you're burning tons of calories. This I really like. Sometimes I'll grab the outside of the weights too. Um, and I kind of prefer these over doing the dumbbells. I don't know why. I just feel a lot more activation in my shoulders. So give those a shot. You can also grab the 45 weight and do those. Um, very, very effective. And then from there, I went to rope pushdowns for triceps. And again, I was doing another superset with these. I was doing uh, rope pushdowns, and then I was going to uh, dips. The one thing with rope pushdowns, um, I use a little bit less weight, and I turn out at the bottom. So see how I'm pushing down, and then I squeeze out at the bottom. Yeah, and I always, always, always with my triceps, squeeze the shit out of it at the bottom of the movement. And so from there, I went over to, like I said, supersetting these with dips. And dips are great for to end your push day because it's all the muscles you were hitting that day. It's your front delt, it's your shoulder, it's your chest, it's your triceps. It's just a little bit of everything. And your core is also engaged as well. And so... Um, I think I did like 15 or something like that, and I was just doing, I think I did three sets of this superset at the end. Um, I think I was even throwing some abs in there as well, which I don't think I recorded. And then after that, I just wanted, to, so, you know, one thing I was watching Arnold's video, and he said, you know, during his prep time, and I, I, I do this as well, um, you just add in sets, even if they're not heavy sets, yeah, this wasn't enough weight. Um, I think I was almost racking this machine, I was like, what the hell's going on? But, um... After I get my heavy sets in and make sure I'm getting and preserving that muscle, that uh, my mass, then um, I just keep adding in sets. And this was a super set I did, so I did um, whatever that is, machine, bench press, and then I went over to uh, machine shoulder press straight away, and I just did this back and forth a couple of times just to failure, just to burn out the muscles, add more. This is what will bring out the details, guys. Those sets at the end, when you're exhausted, the weight's not super heavy, but you're really focusing on the squeeze and you're just, just going until you can't do anymore. So, um, feeling good. Six days out. Um, I appreciate all you guys coming along for the ride. I hope it's uh, been beneficial for you. I'm going to take you out with some posing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. So, I just finished my push day. Felt pretty good. I ended up taking yesterday off because I felt horrible. And uh, I actually had like two weeks straight of training without taking any time off, so um, I think it was a much needed break. <sighs> Today was push day, as you just saw. Um, feeling good. Probably sitting around 177, 178 right now, which is, which is good. Um, do, gonna do some posing, show you guys what the seat looks like. <sighs> so. Since the Frigno show, I stepped on stage around 168. So what I wanted to do is put on about 10 pounds of muscle, and that's exactly what I did. So I'm pretty happy with that. So most of what I'll be doing on stage is facing the front, which is this one. And I'll do a variation of putting my hand up on my hip and see how I can stay tight on my abs, but still talk and breathe and everything like that. That's what you want to do. You don't have to be flexing as hard as you can. Make it look like you're gonna shoot your pants. So I'll be face the front, which will be this one right here. Or it'll be turn face the back. And then I'll do a variation. Flaring my lats out, letting my arms hang off my lats. 
And then we'll turn and face the front. Come back around. Set up. Nice. Like I said, I was telling, I was watching Christian's video. Your front pose doesn't have to be straight on front pose. You can still, as long as your feet are on the line together on the same, a straight plane, that's considered a front pose. So you can still twist your hip a little bit and stand like this. That's still considered a front pose. So just something to keep in mind. And then my variation on my other front pose would be this one. Just off to the side like this. And then that's it. So that'll be what I'll be doing during pre-judging, just facing the front, facing the back. If I get top call outs, which would be top 10, then I'll be doing my full routine, which would be this. I'd come out like this, set up, hit my front pose, turn a little bit, just a tiny bit, let the judges see, switch to my other side, boom, right there. Back pose, and back to the front. So that's it. That's all the posing. This is how the physique looks. Nine days out. Feels good. I'm a little bloated, I think, even right now. So I'll uh, be a little more shredded on stage. So that's where I'm at. Uh, excited. Full. Big. Ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button. Catch you soon. Peace. It's crazy sometimes thinking you can own a piece of the world. It's just floating.